Welcome. Today we will discuss the three great benefits to using a hip abduction pillow after having total hip replacement surgery. But before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so we can provide more content like this for seniors living independently at home. Hip surgery, rehabilitation, and recovery has drastically changed for the better over the last 50 years. Patients can get into the operating room, rest for a few hours in the inpatient recovery wing, and sometimes even go home the very same day. Of course, this varies for every individual, but it is amazing how far the medical world has come. We are going to review what is involved in hip replacement surgery, summarize typical precautions, describe the purposes behind the hip abduction pillow, and provide recovery benefits and resources for obtaining the pillow for everyday use. What is total hip replacement surgery and what are the hip precautions? A total hip arthroplasty or a hip replacement surgery is where a surgeon will go in and remove a deteriorated hip joint and replace it with a brand new orthotic joint. The surgery involves a full repair of the ball and socket joint to restore fluid movement of the hip joint. Surgical incisions can be made from multiple points, including from the back of the hip, the front of the hip, and the front and side of the hip. Incisions that are made more close to the front of the hip tend to have less movement and weight-bearing precautions than those incisions made towards the back of the hip. Each patient should review their post-surgical hip precautions, restrictions, and limitations multiple times with nurses and therapists prior to being discharged from the hospital. Here are some of the possible precautions you may have to follow after having a total hip replacement. No bending at the hips past 90 degrees. No crossing of the legs. No pivoting in place on the affected foot. Maintaining the foot and hip in a neutral position while lying down in bed. Another precaution may include walking backwards with the unaffected hip first and then slowly dragging the affected leg along to avoid ripping open incisions. Oftentimes, patients can put as much weight down as they can tolerate fresh out of surgery. Patients with comorbidity conditions should check with their doctors to see if additional weight-bearing precautions should be considered. So what is a hip abduction pillow and why do you need to have one? A hip abduction pillow is an orthotic pad that you place between your thighs to keep your legs apart. These days, many hip abduction pillows can be strapped to the legs to prevent slipping. Abduction means away while adduction means to add. If you are bringing your legs together, then you are adducting your hips, which can be extremely uncomfortable and potentially dangerous after hip replacement surgery. The hip abduction pillow is ideal for maintaining the alignment of the hip joint while lying down in bed. This helps prevent the new joint from sliding out of place or causing unnecessary strain or pain. Hip abduction pillows are useful for seniors who have loosey-goosey joints to begin with and who are at higher risk for popping the hip joint out of socket. Seniors may require a hip abduction pillow as recommended by their doctor if they have experienced a hip joint dislocation, a hip fracture, an open reduction internal fixation hip surgery, or occasionally a total hip replacement surgery. So what are the main benefits to using a hip abduction pillow for seniors living at home? I'm going to provide a list of benefits that seniors can obtain from appropriately using a hip abduction pillow. The first is having reduced joint pain. Lying down with the hips pulled inward can cause a lot of strain on the hip muscles and joints. Having a hip abduction pillow that keeps the hips apart can potentially reduce that strain and promote better rest and sleep. Next is decreased joint dislocation. The goal of the pillow is to keep the hips in a neutral and aligned position. That way, the hip joint has a reduced chance of sliding out of socket while in bed, which can be excruciating and require medical attention. Then we have faster and better healing. Keeping the hips neutral with the pillow means that the hips have a chance at recovering and healing properly, which leads to better walking and overall movement. So now let's discuss what types of hip abduction pillows that are available on the market. With the booming online market, there are endless possibilities when it comes to types of hip abduction pillows available. The point is to find one that best fits your needs. Let's consider the following. The material of the pillow. Most abduction pillows are made of foam-based materials that contour to the thighs. You will likely need to research these types of materials that are available and do a test run on a few with your local medical equipment provider, if possible. Next, check the abduction angle of the pillow. Talk to your doctor before settling on an abduction angle. They may have recommendations about how far apart your thighs should be. Research your options regarding the angles and sizes available. 
Next, we have to look at the fit of the pillow. Each pillow that you find online or at your local medical supply store should come with information regarding the size, length, and body type of the pillow. Is it made for pediatrics, adults, or bariatric patients? This is important to making sure you have the right size pillow for your needs. And lastly, what accessories come with the hip abduction pillow? As mentioned previously, many hip abduction pillows come with straps to prevent slipping. Talk to your physician about whether or not you will require a hip abduction pillow, a pad, or another device for when you need to sit out of bed and possibly might have to have your movement restricted. Now that we have researched hip abduction pillows, and at this time you might have secured one through your physician's office, or by purchasing one for yourself, we now look at the best time to use a hip abduction pillow and a good daily wearing schedule. A hip abduction pillow is used best while lying down or during nap times. Seniors wearing the pillow can sleep on their backs and their sides. In fact, clinicians will encourage the wearer to change their position, everyone, to two hours to prevent sores and skin breakdown. Hip abduction pillows are not meant to be worn during transfers or out-of-bed activities. Seniors and their loved ones should do periodic skin checks to make sure that the straps are not too tight against the skin. Seniors should also not be wearing the pillow all day and should remove the pillow frequently throughout the day to participate in prescribed therapy exercises. People that have hip replacement surgery also want to know, how long will I need to wear a hip abduction pillow after having my total hip replacement? Seniors who have been prescribed a hip abduction pillow should wear the pillow for as long as their physician recommends it. Healing hip injuries or surgical procedures can take several weeks. Another question that gets asked frequently is what can happen if I don't use a hip abduction pillow at after hip replacement surgery? Some seniors can go without a hip abduction pillow after hip surgery and come out at the end of recovery just fine. These are seniors who already have relatively healthy and strong muscles, ligaments, and tendons in their hips. Seniors who have compromised muscle tissue, flexibility, and strength could potentially misalign the new hip replacement without the abduction pillow, which requires returning back to the hospital to have the joint surgically corrected. Repeated surgeries can also put seniors in an increased risk for getting a hospital-acquired infection. This is something you want to try to avoid. So let's put it all together and summarize what we discussed today. Hip abduction pillows are an important device seniors should be using after having a total hip replacement. Regular and appropriate use of these pillows can aid in better and safer hip healing and recovery. Consult with your physician and orthopedic surgeon to discuss whether or not a hip abduction pillow will help you as you recover in the hospital and at home. If you have any questions about hip abduction pillows, please leave them in the comments and one of our rehabilitation experts will respond promptly. Thanks for listening.